Hey everyone, I'm Jen and I'm the Director of Marketing over here at EverEyes. Today, I'm really excited to share some news regarding improvements that we have been working on for the EverState contract and what exactly does that mean for EverEyes. Over the past couple of weeks, the development team has been hard at work to update and improve our staking DAP after we identified a vulnerability within our staking contract due to a minor exploit that occurred on February 10th. The team has outlined multiple solutions, as well as risk involved with all of them. And instead of adding a short-term patch for our current pool, we have decided to take everything that we've learned and embrace the opportunity to build for the future. What the team has been working on developing is a groundbreaking innovation and will introduce an ingenious staking protocol that has never been seen before. Let's break it down. EverRise V3 is a combined multi-chain token and on-chain utility NFT contract that will utilize the same contract addresses across all chains. Now, there's quite a few improvements, but let's start with the smart contract for the RISE token. With the EverRise V3 smart contract, multiple security improvements will be implemented. For example, RISE tokens will never leave your wallet when you are staking. Instead, stake tokens will be locked in your wallet based on how long you are staking for. This means that your stake token value will always be displayed within your wallet. In addition, the V3 smart contract will allow you to create time locks within your wallet for RISE tokens and utility NFTs. You will be able to assign a second wallet address to your time locks in order to unlock your RISE tokens and RISE NFTs before the time lock finishes. For example, let's say I have 1 million RISE tokens and I staked half of them. I would have 500,000 RISE tokens staked and locked within my own wallet. Now, let's say I saw other protocols getting compromised and I wanted to be extra safe. I would actually be able to put a time lock on my 500,000 unstaked RISE tokens for any set duration of time. And if an emergency occurred and I needed to access my 500,000 unstaked RISE tokens that are time locked, I could actually unlock those tokens from a secondary wallet address that I assigned to my time lock. After we saw the exploit with OpenSea with regards to signature approvals, we have decided to implement a new feature within our RISE v3 smart contract that will allow you to revoke all approvals related to the RISE token and RISE NFTs in a single transaction. This means if a DEX or NFT marketplace experiences a similar exploit to what OpenSea experienced, you would be able to immediately revoke the approval of that platform and all others within a single transaction. In addition to the revoke feature of the V3 contract, the contract allows you to choose an auto timeout period for spending approvals. The auto timeout feature essentially times out any new approvals after that time period. This will be a feature that you will be able to configure yourself. It starts off, but can be turned on and set anywhere between one hour and seven years and turned off at any point in time. So for example, say I set my auto timeout feature to be 14 days. If I connected to a DEX to purchase Rise, I would need to approve the signature. 14 days after this occurs, if I went back to that DEX, I would need to approve the signature again. Some additional improvements to the V3 contract include blocking the ability to send RISE tokens to the EverRise smart contracts. In addition, again, we will have the same contract address on all chains. These improvements are key to EverRise having one of the most secure smart contracts within the DeFi space. With all of that said, let's talk about how these changes impact our staking protocol and EverStake. We have put strong measures in place to the staking rewards pool that we've discussed with security experts. With EverRise v3, staking improvements include heavy gas optimizations to make it much cheaper for you guys to create a stake. You've heard me say utility NFTs a couple of times now, 
When I'm talking about utility NFTs, I'm referring to our upgraded staking protocol, where staking contracts will be on-chain NFTs that we will be referring to as Everize NFT stakes. The Everize NFT stakes, again, will be on-chain NFTs. That means all their data is directly on the blockchain and not dependent on IPFS or any external server. The Everize NFT stakes are staked rise. If they are transferred, the staked rise goes along with them. The Everize NFT stakes will be directly held in your wallet and will have a unique serial number per blockchain. The Everize NFT stakes are also OpenSea compatible along with other NFT platforms and can be sold or transferred to others. When sold, Everize will get royalties off the NFT stake sales. This royalty fee will have tokenomics applied to it, returning value to the token. The Everize NFT stakes are bridgeable with a percentage change based on the size of the stake and unstaked rise that will go to stakers on the target chain, along with some portion of it to the company. So if I have an NFT stake on the BNB chain and I bridge my NFT stake to Ethereum, I will start earning staking rewards from the buybacks occurring on the Ethereum blockchain. Along with V3, we are bringing back the burning process. As a part of staked NFT bridging, we collect tax in the form of RISE tokens. So we will use a portion of it on a monthly or quarterly basis to burn some RISE tokens. You will have the ability to split a stake into smaller stakes. Since you can transfer NFT stakes to others, bridge them to other chains and sell them on an NFT marketplace, being able to split them will allow you to do this with a smaller amount rather than the full stake. Splitting a stake will create two new NFT stakes with the same completion date and destroy the original. In addition, we're also adding additional staking periods of 24 and 36 months. With the NFT stakes, you will have the ability to increase the staking period while a stake is in process. This is a feature that we've heard a lot of community members ask us about and talk about, so we're really excited that we're going to be able to deliver that with V3. If you do choose to increase your staking period, a new NFT stake will be created with the same rise amount starting from that point for the new period. NFT stakes will continue to earn rewards at the same weight after the lock-in period has ended. Upon completion of a staking period, the Everize NFT stakes will allow you to claim an award NFT, which can be collected. Unstaking will destroy the NFT stake and unlock its RISE tokens in your wallet. Some of the improvements to the Everstake platform include the ability to display stakes for a wallet address of all chains at once, in addition, if you have multiple staking contracts, you can withdraw all rewards from one chain in a single transaction. Everrise V3 introduces a whole new chapter for Everrise. I'm excited to share that the development team is putting the finishing touches on the smart contracts and we are preparing to formally submit the upgraded V3 contract and our staking smart contract to our audit partners and we'll be looking to migrate to V3 sometime in March. The migration process for V3 will look slightly different than our migration to V2. Here are some of the key things you need to know. We will be creating new staking contracts that mirror the existing ones as Everrise NFT stakes with Rise V3 tokens. All NFT stakes will be airdropped. When we go to the Everrise V3 smart contract, we will be utilizing a snapshot of all rewards that were not withdrawn before the staking rewards pool exploit to refill all rewards lost with tokens owned by Everrise. To migrate all unstaked Rise V2 tokens to Rise V3, we will be utilizing a two-fold approach. Rise holders will be able to utilize Evermigrate to migrate to the V3 tokens, and after a period of time, which we will not be disclosing to mitigate airdrop scams, we will actually close ever migrate for V3 tokens and airdrop all V2 tokens to those who did not migrate utilizing ever migrate. Once V3 is live, we will be activating the buyback and stake protocol on all chains to buy back more often to make up for the past several weeks in which the buyback protocol was turned off. 
As we get closer to the beginning of the migration process, we'll be releasing more details so you guys can be informed at every step and know exactly what you need to do for the migration to V3. For us here at EverEyes, we are committed to security and innovation in the DeFi space. As we all know, DeFi is still incredibly early, and we are constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible, and here at EverEyes, we will continue to do so. The ingenuity of the development team that we have here speaks for itself, and we hope that you are all as excited about EverEyes V3 as we are.